Appointment setter versus closer. What's the difference between the two and which is the right for you? Let's talk about it. Hey, what's going on? Aaron here from the Remote Closing Academy. And as you may or may not know, there are two main roles in any high ticket sales organization, and that is the appointment setter or the SDR and the closer. And in this video, we're going to break down three main things. Number one is how does the setter and closer fit into the overall sales process? Number two, kind of comparing and contrasting the two and, and really figuring out, breaking down which could potentially be the right one for you. And then number three is we're to break down the economics behind how much money can actually be made in these two different roles and i promise you after watching this video you will know exactly which role you should choose based on your circumstances based on your experience and based on the amount of money that you want to make so first off let's talk about the overall process of how the appointment setter and closer fit into the entire equation so jeff if you can throw up a fancy graphic on screen to help people understand that would be amazing so if you can see here on the left side is generally how the process starts is some sort of video or advertisement on social media so the potential prospect will then click on that ad and then it's going to take them to what is called an opt-in page where they'll put in their name, phone number, and email. Now, historically after that, they would book in to call with the business owner. But as we've talked about in recent videos is as an appointment setter or closer, you become a massive, massive value to these business owners. And the reason they'll pay you a ton of money and pay you the big bucks is because you help them save time by jumping into this process. So if we go back to the graphic here as an appointment setter, your job would be to essentially intercept that person during or before they watch the VSL or the video or to go on a book a call. You will then have the conversation with them and set them for the high ticket closer and then they can go in and have the conversation and bring them over the finish line. So let's go ahead and break down a setter role a little bit and what the day to day would be like for you. Now, a massive misconception that people make is that, you know, as an appointment setter, as the name suggests, you have to go out and set appointments and, you know, call people from the phone book and call to people that, that have no idea who you are. And that couldn't be further from the truth. The reason being is because the example that we just talked about, that person has some sort of intent there, right? They are going in, they're seeing an ad, they're watching a video and they're essentially warmed up to understand that, okay, I'm interested in this thing. So when you then go to them, send them a text, give them a call and say, Hey, what's up? I saw you were interested in this thing. It makes it so much easier for you to have that conversation because they're already either looking for that or at least have a little bit of interest. So here's another example of how this works on screen right now. You're seeing Cole Thomas Gordon, my business partner. This is his Instagram. He has just under 500,000 followers. And as you can probably imagine, he has hundreds of people, not only clicking the link in his bio, which then gets filtered over to an appointment setter, but he also gets dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of people on a daily basis that are sending in messages asking how they could take advantage of working with him for his multiple offers. Now, as you can imagine Cole running a multiple eight figure your business, not only does he not want to message people back on Instagram, but he just physically doesn't have the time. So that's where we have multiple appointment setters. At this point, I think we have three appointment setters that are constantly in the DMs, having those conversations, setting the appointments with the closers. And anytime someone does decide they want to jump into the offer, they're making anywhere from 400 to $750 every single time someone does. So who's this role for? Who should be an appointment setter for the high ticket space? Well, if you're someone that doesn't necessarily want to be on the phones all day and you'd much rather spend time in DMS on Instagram, sending messages back to people and just making it really, really simple for yourself. Heck you can even like not saying you'd see the most success if you did this as like super part time and on the side, but at the same time, like you could kind of do this from wherever you want. Now stay tuned for scripting videos that we're going to put out on this channel because we're going to bring you through the entire process A to Z of how to be an effective appointment setter with the exact copy and paste scripts to help you navigate these messenger conversations. Now let's talk about remote closers. This is usually the more sought after position for obvious reasons reasons that you can make more money, right? You're making 10% off of each close as opposed to 3%. And we'll break more of the, the numbers down here in a second. But with this also comes with having to physically be on zoom conversations with each and every one of the people that you're talking to. So you're, you know, I mean, as, as much as like eye to eye contact you can get over zoom, that is what your life would look like. So if you are someone that is, you feel like you have a good personality, you actually like talking to people and you know that there is a good amount of work that goes into learning the skill, getting really good at it. Then I think honestly, this is the perfect role for you. And I want to just double down on this fact here because I think it's extremely important to understand. You need to know that being a closer is not easy. 
it is simple, right? Because the, the, sim the difference between simple and easy is you're going to have to put the work in and you, you have to put it, you know, in the process and making sure you're doing it on a daily basis and getting better at your skills and, and constantly investing in yourself. So again, if that's something that you're into, that's where the higher ticket pay comes from is just being more involved in the overall sales process. Now with this role, very similar to the appointment setting position is you are talking to pre vetted individuals that do have the interest about what the actual offer is, right? So again, if the appointment setter is doing their job, you don't have to cold call, right? You don't have to reach out to set your own appointments. You literally wake up every single day to a filled calendar of people that are ready to talk to you, right? And with the appointments that are doing their job and setting them effectively, they will give you the notes around, you know, how much money are they currently making? What are their current pain points? What are their, you know, current goals? Where are they in their life in general? And this is going to give you the ammo that you need in order to build a rapport quickly, in order to build that relationship and help them understand that whatever you have to sell, whatever the offer is, is the solution to fix the problem that they are looking to fix. And honestly, guys, that is one of the most rewarding feelings when it comes to the remote high ticket space is 99% of the offers that you can get on as long as you vet them, right? I'm not going to say every single person has the best intentions, but 99% of people that you would work for as a remote closer, their offer is genuinely making a difference in that person's life, whether it's health, whether it's fitness, whether it's making money online, fixing their relationships, their spirituality, their mindset, their business, whatever it may be, you're actually helping them, you're helping change their lives. And more often than not, the people that you sell into it, as long as they put in the work, they are gonna come back and they're gonna thank you for selling them into whatever the offer is. All right, let's jump into the juicy part of the video, what everyone's waiting for. Let's talk numbers of the potential of money that you could make as a remote ticket, high ticket setter and closer. We're just gonna start off with the setters because I mean, let's just stay in order here. So what we're gonna do is these are minimum KPIs, which is key performance in indicators of most of what is going to be expected of you as a setter. So on average, you should be doing about 20 sets and that should be produced weekly. So 20 sets weekly and the closer that closes these deals should be closing about 30% of those set calls. Again, keep in mind that is industry standard. So sometimes it may be lower than that. Sometimes it may, may be higher, but that's about average of what it's going to be. So what, how it's going to break down is 20 sets weekly. You're going to get 30% of those closed, which equals about six deals closed every single week. And if you take that times four, right? Cause there's four weeks out of the month, six times four is 24 closed deals per month. And you're going to times that by $225 because you're going to get 3% of the $7,500 offer, which is 225. So 225 times the 24 set closes, that's gonna be about $5,400 a month in commission. But most setting jobs, depending on, you know, how much the average appointment setter is making is going to have a base pay, usually about 1500 bucks. So 1500 plus 5,400 is gonna leave you with on average about $6,900 a month in commissions, cash in your bank, as long as you're hitting these minimum KPIs. Now, as I stated before, there's so many variables that goes into how these numbers can fluctuate. So let's say you got better at being a setter, right? Let's say you did 50, you know, sets a week and there was 50% of them that were being closed. I mean, that's kind of insane. Like those numbers are crazy, but you can see how it can fluctuate. I'll give you a direct example. A buddy of mine, he's probably one of the best, if not the best setter in the high ticket space right now. Last month alone, he did 50 set closes. So basically twice the amount that the example that I gave and he was selling a $9,800 offer. So I think he was making like 200, almost $300 per sale. And that was 50. So when you really break down the math, he did about 14,700 in commissions. And with bonuses on top of that, I think he finished well over 16, $17,000 on that month because of the clash cash collected because of the, you know, the set close bonus. I mean, I've never heard of anybody in the industry getting 50 set closes in a month. So it's, it's kind of insane, but again, the numbers, can really fluctuate. Now let's talk about the big daddy. How much can you make as a remote high ticket closer? Again, numbers across the board. I'm just going to give you kind of an average of what that could look like. And we'll just keep the $7,500 offer. Keep in mind, you could have a lower offer. You can have a much higher offer. I mean, we've seen uh, some people like people like Tony Robbins or Grant Cardone that are clients of ours uh, on the B2B side is, I mean, some of their offers are 50 to a hundred thousand dollars. So, I mean, keep those numbers in mind. So let's break it down. On average, you're going to do about five calls a day five days out of the week. Now you can work more days, you know, you can work seven days a week if you wanted to, which actually you do get bonuses for working on the weekends. Cause I mean, Hey, most people don't want to work on the weekends, but if you want to grind it out, great way to get more, more reps in, but let's say five 
days a week, five calls a day. So that's going to be about 25 calls every single week. Now, the minimum KPI as a closer is you're going to need to be at the 20 to 25% closing ratio. Everyone that you talk to, you got to close about 20 to 25%. So if we take that 20%, and we multiply that by the five calls that you're closing every single week because you're doing 25 calls a week, 20% of that, you're gonna close five a week, five a week for four weeks, that's gonna be 20 closes, and you're gonna make 10% of the commission on the 7,500. So if we take 750, which is 10% of the 7,500, and we multiply that by on the, on average, 20 closes you should be doing out of the month, right, five every week, you should be making about $15,000 a month in commissions. And again, keep in mind with bonuses, that could look at something like 18,000, right? Because you're doing, you know, whether it's units closed, whether it's, you know, specific amounts, cash collected, you could be getting upwards of 18 to even $20,000 um, when it comes to the bonuses attached to that. Now, again, there's so many variables that come into play. You can be like someone like Cole Gordon, where he had a 50% close ratio. He was a maniac and doing seven calls a day. And he got to a point where, you know, he was doing 40 to $50,000 every single month. And he was upgraded into a sales integrator, which basically is a sales manager that manages everyone on the sales team and makes a percentage off of all of their sales. So you can see with small changes, to the numbers, whether it's the offer calls taken close percentage, there's a lot of money to be made if you're doing it in the right way. Whew. All right, guys. There's the numbers. <laughs> As you can tell, uh, you know, going through these numbers, always have to have some sort of diagram to help you guys not only understand what I'm saying, but also so I can even just like keep track of, of all these numbers. Cause I talk to a lot of people every day and there's a lot of numbers that involve. So all that being said, guys, that is what you need to know about high ticket sales, high ticket closers, all that good stuff. Now this video is great, but I think that you're going to get a ton of value out of checking out the video that's on screen, which is going to go a little bit more into detail about the high ticket closing space in general, as opposed to just setters and closers. So go ahead and click the video there. Make sure you check that out because it's going to help you out a ton in your high ticket process.